Alright guys, welcome to your 25th biology video, and in this video, I want to talk to you guys about something called peroxisomes. Now, a lot of people, when they're first studying biology, they get peroxisomes and lysosomes mixed up. And the reason for this is because they do have a lot of similarities, but in this video, what I want to do is I want to concentrate on the differences between peroxisomes and lysosomes, and hopefully you guys will have a good understanding of which does what. So let me go ahead and draw the cell. Looks like a baked potato, and my nucleus always looks like a loaf of bread. And I'll draw my peroxisomes as purple. That should help you guys remember them. So here are all my peroxisomes, and I'll draw my lysosomes is blue, light blue. So all of them are floating around, and obviously from this diagram right here, they look similar, and actually they are similar in a lot of ways. Both peroxisomes and lysosomes are sacs filled with enzymes. Did I say enzymes? Enzymes. And they also break down molecules and help protect the cell from harmful toxins. So here we go, here's a big old bad harmful toxin. All of these peroxisomes and lysosomes are going to help break these down. However, peroxisomes differ in that peroxisomes specialize in breaking down lipids, which we know are just fats. And of course, whenever a cell breaks down a lipid or a fat, it could use those molecules for energy and to do other stuff later on. Now. They are similar to lysosomes in both they look the same in their sacs filled with enzymes, but peroxisome actually has a different type of enzyme than a lysosome. So just remember that peroxisomes have different types of enzymes than the digestive enzyme in lysosomes. Now let me go ahead and show you guys an example of what a peroxisome would do. Whenever you have hydrogen peroxide in your cell, and that's H2O2, that's the chemical formula for hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is dangerous to your cells. So what a peroxisome would do is it would actually take this and convert it to water, which is H2O, plus oxygen. So it would break this up, this hydrogen peroxide, up into a water molecule, an oxygen molecule, and an oxygen molecule is O2. So it would need to get an oxygen from somewhere else in the cell's environment, somewhere around the cytoplasm, but that's what it does. Peroxisome turns H2O2, which is hydrogen peroxide, into water and oxygen, both of which are needed by the cell. So just remember that peroxisomes break down larger harmful molecules into smaller useful molecules like a water and oxygen and in this case this is an example where it breaks down hydrogen peroxide which is a molecule that would be harmful to the cell. 